step in mobilizing the whole movement to respond across the country. No war on Iran. We have to stop the war makers in the Pentagon. They're giving the green light to an Israeli attack, which is really a U.S. attack. So this message today of no war, no sanctions, no interventions, no assassinations, to have that as a cohesive message is a big contribution to the anti-war movement here. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? The largest military? The largest military? In the history of the world? In the history of the world? And what good is it doing? And what good is it doing? If it's starting a third war in the Middle East. We are here today in Times Square, as well as I think now more than 100 cities. We're here once again to tell the truth that this war is about oil, it's about profits, it's about imperialist world domination. Its motives are no different than those that motivated the war against Iraq and Afghanistan and Vietnam. And we are outraged at a time when unemployment and poverty and hunger and homelessness is growing, that there's preparation now to drop billion dollar bombs on the people of another country. In the spirit of the Occupy movement, we understand that it is the 1% who are behind this war, and the 99% who are opposed to it. And therefore, the war is not just a war against Iran, but it's against the 99%. It doesn't matter where they live geographically. And we're also pledging here that if there is a war in the spirit of Occupy Wall Street, we will take action to make sure that there's no business as usual. We will bring this war home the way we tried to do with Iraq and Afghanistan. But this time, I believe, Less people are fooled and more people are aware. And so what we do will be much, much more successful and effective. So we say no war against Iran, no assassinations, and no sanctions.